Potato Tribe, it's that time again. It's you, me, same three for March. The purpose of this challenge was to create something using three items sent to me from Tiffany of Southern Gals Designs and Michelle of Micklemay. They started this challenge and we'll all be using the same items in their videos along with the other participants in this challenge. And I've got their links down below so in the description box, so check them out. So I'm getting started with laying out my spread. I'm using the envelope that was sent to me um, with the items for the challenge inside. It's some really great mixed media paper envelope. And then the items that were sent were was a fabric tag, a um, cardboard stencil of the letter J, and a cute polka dot napkin. And so I'm getting started in here in my journal with some uh, using this envelope paper because actually it matched um, one of the journal pages that I already have that's made from a grocery bag. Um, it was an underlay paper and surprisingly, the envelope paper that was sent for this challenge matched that, um, that page and it all worked out. I love it. I love how the brown on the bottom matches the paper bag on the side. So I'm just gonna be laying out um, the polka dot nap napkin onto the page, just placing it wherever. And while I do this, let's listen to a little Cajun French Zydeco music to get us in the mood for today's journal spread. <laughs> So now that I've got the background on my page, my journal spread set up, I'm pulling this picture that I have of this little boy with a squeeze box and I'm just gonna do a little illustrative mark making as well as coloring in the image. You'll also see me do um, some fussy cutting all along throughout um, the process of me figuring out what I wanna do exactly with this image. Gun, we make big fun on the bow. Goodbye. 
by Joe, I gotta go, me oh my oh. Gotta go pull the P-Rogue down the bio. My Yvonne is sweet as one, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we make big fun on the bio. see me get some hand rendered text it says joie de vivre which is joy of living in Cajun French and um, the theme of the today's spread um, is kind of like a little fade out um, which is um, a celebration um, dance and uh, just a joyous occasion and um, it also, Fedodo, is, it's also funny because that's usually what you also tell um, a child uh, to go to sleep in French. And um, I thought it was cheeky that here we've got a little boy with his squeeze box participating in a Fedodo. Um, but at the same time, he should probably be in bed <laughs> because that's, gonna, that's carrying on a little bit too late. So here he is having a joyous occasion at his with his squeeze box at a Federo. So it's just I thought it was just really cheeky. Um, and that's kind of the theme of today's spread. Um, that letter J kind of inspired me um, to do to do the spread for today in, in this theme. So I thought that was funny and cheeky and cute. Um, yeah, so that was kind of the inspirational direction that I took for today's spread. So a little bit more about a Ferrero is um, it's a Cajun French uh, community dance party, and it's typically held like on Saturday nights or uh, on sometimes on Sunday afternoons, and um, yeah, so it's it, it's celebratory and there's lots of uh cajun folk music or zydeco and um it's always a good time and uh yeah i thought i should probably explain a little bit more about what that is and um so it 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 lends a little bit more um understanding to the image of the little boy and the celebratory layout design using loud colors, the dots, um, just kind of to represent that party atmosphere. So now I'm laying down my um, J and also lots of little giblets and trying to figure out how I want um, all these items placed. I do decide to check the back of the J just in case um, there's any quotes or anything written on the back. Um, it's just so I don't make the mistake that I did last time of ripping or crump crumpling things up um, and missing out on some hidden um, item or word prompts on the piece. And I'm also including those sewn edges from that envelope as well um, to give it some texture. That green dot that you see that's above um, where I'm working is actually dried paint um, from one of my paint palettes that dried up and I was able to peel it back and it made this perfect um, circle and um, with really the paint that was dry just looked really cool and I love scraping those out from my paint palette and using those in my journals or in other mixed media projects 
um, here I've glued it and stapled, stapled it down and I'm going to end up grabbing some more paint uh, and covering those staples with that paint just to uh, make those staples blend in so you can really tell that it's a, it's a little splotch of paint. Here I'm using some of my leftover uh, grunge wash to kind of grunge up the page and also where I grunged up that J. Now I'm going to take and distress that uh, fabric tag a little bit, make it a little bit more grungy. I'm going to also add some paint to it. And then in a little bit you're going to see me add a um, one of those little miniature playing cards onto the top of it. Um, I was looking for the Joker card, and I also pulled a Jack as well. I was going to use the little Joker card, but I decided, um, I don't know, I just liked the, how that Jack card looked and that, with that pop of color. Um, I think it worked out well. And so I'm going to just continue to fuss along with this spread and move things around and work on the layout. And if y'all want to know what I'm using in this journal spread as far as um, supplies, I'll have my ingredients list posted down in the description below that details everything that I'm using um, to create this entire spread. Of course, if y'all have any questions about um, anything that you may see of how I made um, in this spread, just feel free to comment, ask me questions. I'm always happy to answer. Um, speaking of which, that party hat that you see the little boy wearing, I did make a video prior to this one um, that shows you how to make your own mixed media party hats for art journaling and or, or other mixed media projects. Now you're seeing me fuss along with this quote um, about joy. Um, I had handwritten this quote on a piece of vellum that I was going to put down. You probably saw me um, trying to figure out the placement for earlier, but I just didn't like it. So I decided to put it on this white sheet of paper and just kind of distress that. And I ended up pulling out part of that quote out of that J just so that J could pop. The colors could pop out from behind that stencil and that little piece of the quote that I tore out I just glued it back down on the other page on the other side of the page now I'm taking and I'm just gonna do some thread dangles um, that goes onto that paper clip but first here's where you're gonna see me distress and paint that uh, fabric tag a little bit more and add that jack card onto it
tão perto de Maria. Gênmoreia também de Maria. E more bom tu pela prana. Si tu te maries dans la Louisiane. Once I get my card placed um, where I want it, how I like it, I'm just going to set it there and then I'm going to return back to fiddling with that um, paper clip and these little thread danglers. Um, I just like little threads, it dangles from the page, especially this one to move it around and I'm just going to fiddle with the placement, trying to figure out where I want it, if I want it on the side or from the top. Um, I finally figure out I want it on that corner and for it to dangle down and interact with that playing card tag. So I'm just going to keep working on fixing it how I like it and I got it not. And then I decide to put the words Fado Do down on the side beside the little boy just to emphasize um, the intent on this page and um, that, that celebratory event um, just to add that extra emphasis on on my intention for this page that collar that you see that's around the little boy it's actually made of um, pencil sharpener uh, leftovers um, I actually put that on off camera once I finished uh, painting the little boy and all the paint dried I had some leftover pencil sharpened shavings and uh, it looked like a little collar and I thought that was really cute so I added that onto the little boy so that's what that is. I don't, I didn't think I filmed that so I just thought I would add that in. Alright so I adhered that fabric tag and now I'm going in and doing some stitches on uh, both pages on one side and the other. Um, adding some red thread stitches near the, around that J area and then I'm going to end up adding some stitching um, onto that fabric tag. When that fabric tag dried, it curled up around the edges and so I ended up stitching um, along that fabric tag on one side and um, eventually on the other side. I end up stitching that other side off off camera um, with some white thread but here you're seeing me use that same red thread for this one side Here I thought I wanted some white outlines around the lettering and I decided that was a big mistake and it didn't look right so I ended up lifting that with um, a baby wipe. So that's what I'm doing, you'll see here. 
I also pop an outline around the little boy to make him stand out a little bit more. But beyond that, I'm pretty much finished with this journal spread and I think it turned out great. I'm going to include last looks here at the end of the video along with some photos. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you, Tiffany and Michelle, for this challenge. It's been so much fun. Also, everybody go check out all the other participants of this challenge. And again, thanks y'all so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. I would love it. It means the world to me when y'all do that and y'all send me sweet comments and interact with me. I absolutely love it. Love y'all. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all later. Bye! De l'amour avec toi, au oh, chat, c'est toi la mer. Mais on n'est pas fini. Tu peux me refuser, cher, mais ça, ça rien. Je vais me mettre égal avec toi ce soir. Tu peux pas m'arrêter de rêver. Et, oh ouais, tu peux m'arrêter. De l'amour avec toi, au oh, chat, c'est toi la mer. Mais on n'est pas fini. Tu peux me refuser, cher, mais ça, ça rien, je vais me mettre avec toi ce soir. Tu peux pas m'arrêter 